Concussions have become a very hot topic when it comes to football on the professional and collegiate level. But today I'm going to test the hitting force of high school athletes. Sean Wiggins is a 6 foot 3, 220 pound inside linebacker for Butler. He recorded 137 tackles last season and will be playing football on the college level. Every year, there are over 100,000 concussions that occur in all levels of football. To understand how I calculated concussive forces, you must first understand Newton's second law. The acceleration of an object depends upon its mass and the magnitude of force applied to it. When an unbalanced force acts upon an object, the motion of this object changes. The rate of this change over time is called acceleration. Acceleration depends upon two variables, the mass of the object and the magnitude of the applied force. This relationship between these variables brings us to the equation force equals mass times acceleration. Now let's take a look at Sean's hitting ability. Sean is traveling at 20 miles per hour and it only takes him 9 one hundredths of a second to move the head 3 feet. I made the head out of ballistics gel which weighs the same and has similar properties of a human head. The combined weight of the helmet and head was 23 pounds. Now let's take a look at all the data and see what it means. When we plug the numbers into our equation, we find out that Sean was able to apply roughly 120 g's or 120 times the force of gravity at impact. That's almost 40 times the force that an astronaut experiences during takeoff. But the real question in this experiment is, is this enough force to cause a concussion? The answer is clearly yes. And something needs to be done, whether it's increased penalties or improved helmet technologies. Because high school athletes are only getting bigger and stronger and this problem will only increase.